With their pickup trucks and state-of-the-art weapons, there's no doubt that the estimated 10,000 ISIS fighters in Iraq and Syria are well equipped. But Baghdad is unclear where all the money is coming from. Iraq's prime minister has his suspicions. There is a regional conspiracy that has been planned and financed. It's backed by a massive media war. The media funded by Qatar and Saudi Arabia have described the militants as revolutionaries. However, U.S. officials have blamed Nouri al-Maliki himself for causing Iraq to split and warned him about pursuing sectarian policies. In Paris this week, the Saudi prince Meteb bin Abdullah said that his kingdom was opposed to violence and sectarianism. Saudi Arabia has always refused to intervene in the interior affairs of another state. We only hope the region will find security and stability. There is no concrete proof that the authorities in Saudi Arabia or other Gulf states are supporting ISIS, but experts suspect money may be flowing from private donors. But what is certain is that these oil fields in northern Syria that are controlled by Islamists are a source of income for ISIS. There's also money from extortion, smuggling and kidnapping. And bank robberies. Last week, the terrorist group stole $430 million from the central bank in Mosul. This provides more money to pay their fighters and buy new weapons to wage their battles.